Hello and welcome to a tutorial on getting started with the new Google Sites. Now, if you were watching this video, you are probably a part of the MSCT program, and there are several times where you have to create a website. So this is going to do some very quick tutorials on some basics, and then later I will also have some additional tutorials on specific skill sets. So the first thing I've done is I've come to sites.google.com. And of course, one of the bigger important parts here is that I am using Google Chrome. And um, because it's a Google product, it works best in Google Chrome. I'm going to click over here on the left-hand side where it says New Google Sites. And you can see that I already have some sample sites going but to create a new site down here in the lower right hand corner i'm going to click on this little plus button that says create new site and it immediately brings me into my editing space now as a very quick orientation to this in the upper left is um, the name of my file um, it's also going to pair up and be the name of my site but notice that that's different from my page title. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this as sample site. And as soon as I hit my tab or my enter key, notice here that my um, site has changed to that name as well. However, that is not the same as my page title. And here is my, I'm going to call this my homepage. Now that's very, very verbose. And for a real website, I would never do that. But uh, for my sample, in terms of distinguishing that this is the name of the site up here versus the name of the page over here, I'm trying to make them fairly explicit. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and click on Publish. Now, before I click on this, the thing you need to know is that Google is going to basically ask me to give this site a name. Now, the upside is that I can give it any name I want. However, the downside is that currently I have to live with everybody else on the internet. So I probably cannot get away with just a simple um, phrase of sample site. And in fact, it says to me, this is a great address, but it's already taken. So I'm going to call it sample site MSCT. And it likes that particular one. I didn't get any kind of red error message back. I'm going to click on publish and that will become my URL. So speaking of publishing, this particular piece, notice that it ends in the word edit, and that's an indication that I'm still in the editor. If I wanted to send this site to a friend for viewing or embed this site in a project because my students would be using it, I need to get the real URL. To do that, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow next to the word publish, and I'm going to click on view published site. Now this particular web address is my final web address. So again, if I'm embedding this into another site for my students, or I'm sending a link to a person who is not an editor of my site, I'm going to send them this particular link here. Notice that this also opened into another uh, window. So I'm going to go ahead and close that just to keep my life a little bit simpler. And if I take a look here, there are some real basic kinds of things. To go ahead and continue my basic kind of introduction over here on the right hand side, notice that I've got my insert options here where I can add a text box, images, I can upload files, um, or I could embed a URL. I can put in a component uh, such as a divider. And I can also add things directly from my drive. I can embed things such as um, YouTube calendars or videos. And I can also insert things directly from my Google Drive or my Google Docs area. So I'm going to go ahead and um, continue my tutorial here. I'm going to jump over here to Pages and notice here that I have my home page, which is what this is. Notice that um, this is my default home page. I'm going to um, go ahead, publish this video. I'm going to actually stop this video right here. I know it sounds a little odd, but this is the really quick and dirty orientation to Google um, Sites. 
And what I'm going to do in the next tutorial is just go over and how to manage your pages. So I will see you in a moment.